There's been a lot of highlights working on this project. Um, but I think for me, being welcomed in by a lot of the local mob and having them on our sets and working alongside them, either as extras or as um, supporting cast, I felt um, really lucky to have been able to spend some time out here as part of this project. And I think um, all the frames I've seen have done this landscape justice. I guess my favourite part is just working with such incredible young up-and-coming Indigenous artists to watch all of the young ones come up and take it in their stride and to just smash it has been absolute. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps but it's been absolutely incredible and I'm just I'm honoured to be a part of it. Oh, I've loved working on the show I don't know how I could pick one highlight um, just coming to set every day on set's a highlight um, learning so much every day and it's just such a great series and I love Xavier and I love the world. You come to the pub and I'll show you a couple and we'll have a proper yarn. Working in period is always fun. There's right. nostalgia associated with it, yeah, but seeing it and living it on camera and then seeing it on, on screen is, it's great. You get to wear things from the 90s and be in sets and feel like you are time travelling. I love the 90s, like um, the fashion, the cars, like you said. Um, the music, everything's been awesome. What would you get? Probably scary ones. We have a scene where we rent videos from a video store. Something that I really miss. There's something nice about going through the store and scanning the spines and then something jumps out at you for some reason. It turns out to be one of your favourite films. The second baby is this Tirana. It's a beast. It's a really nice car. Glad I got to have a little spin in it. And then there's that iconic landscape that sort of pulls you to where you are, which is very much here, and not maybe in the US or anywhere else. It's it's unique to this place that we come on to, this country. I've been in the US for over 10 years, so it was beautiful and a joy to come back to Australia and film, you know, in the heartland of Australia. It was a, it was a, a wonderful experience. This has got to be the most tough as nails crew I've ever worked with. We're out in um, super challenging conditions, 41 degrees, days, covered in flies, everything's fast and furious. This has been my first time working with Dylan Rivers and Tyson Perkins. The metaphor that I come up with for both of them is something akin to each of them being two legs of the same unicorn. Um, I have never seen such an impressive combination of a director and a DOP. They complement each other so well. I've fallen a little, little bit in love with, with Dylan and Tyson, our director and, and director of photography. Fantastic young team with a great uh, symbiotic relationship. Both got a fantastic eye and completely at ease. It's, there's a, a very zen feel to it. I'm just, I'm honored to be a part of it. And I think Dylan and Tyson are absolutely scary good. If you leave from the top, as an example, which they both do, that filters down and it means that when I come to set, everything's in place and ready to go and we can get what we need to do. Film isn't easy, particularly when you're dealing with the elements, particularly when you're dealing with pandemic. As borders were closing, uh, you know, every 12 hours it's a different reality. And so uh, the production managed to get people in, in the one place. And after that happened, we were lucky enough to find ourselves in a place that wasn't really touched by COVID. And just being able to watch over the last three months this well-oiled machine with many departments who've been in this, been a part of this production and this series for a few seasons now has been, um, it's been pretty awesome. Like, I, I, I don't think I would have been able to achieve some of the stuff I've done without the, the level of support and the atmosphere on set that we've had. So that's been one of the best parts of this whole experience for me.